Welcome, dear viewers, to another informative video. Today, we're taking an insightful deep dive into a groundbreaking Swedish study. The intriguing findings highlight a potential link between men's cardio fitness and the risk of developing, or surviving, three of the most common cancers in males. Let's find out more. The Swedish study finds that higher levels of cardio fitness significantly lower the risk of men developing colon and lung cancers. And it doesn't just stop at prevention. Cardio fitness also plays a crucial role in a man's chances of surviving prostate, colon, and lung cancers. Ellen ekblom back the lead researcher and a senior lecturer with the Swedish School of Sport and Health Sciences in Stockholm, says, better cardiorespiratory fitness is not only important for reducing cardiovascular disease risk, which is commonly communicated, but it's also essential for reducing cancer risk in men. You see, while current cancer prevention guidelines mainly focus on physical activity, this study pushes the importance of cardiorespiratory fitness one step further. Emphasizing its role in reducing both cancer risk and the risk of death from common cancers in men. So, how did the researchers come to this conclusion? Well, Ekblom Back and her colleagues analyzed data from nearly 178,000 Swedish men. All of these men completed an occupational health assessment between 1982 and 2019. Their cardio health was tested while doctors monitored their blood oxygen levels. These men were then tracked using Swedish health registries to see who developed cancer. Interestingly, the researchers found a strong association between cardio fitness and a lower risk of developing or dying from certain cancers. The findings revealed that the better a man's fitness, the lower their cancer risk. Let me break it down with a few examples. Moderate and high levels of cardio fitness were associated with a 28% and 37% lower risk of developing colon cancer compared to very low fitness. Similarly, men with moderate and high levels of cardio fitness were 43% and 71% less likely to die from prostate cancer than men with very low fitness. High cardio fitness even slashed the risk of death from lung cancer by 59%, even after adjusting for smoking. Now, these findings weren't just pulled from thin air. They are backed by a large study with a high-quality follow-up and measurements. Dr. Jennifer LeJabelle, the director of the Leonard P. Zakem Center for Integrative Therapies and Healthy Living at the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute in Boston, praised the study for its extensive follow-up and gold standard measurements. Indeed, the unique aspect of this study lies in the fact that so many men underwent a gold standard test of their cardio fitness with doctor-measured reports of their height and weight. Why does fitness matter so much? Well, better fitness is linked to numerous physiological benefits that are known to reduce the risk of developing cancer or dying from it. For instance, fitness helps reduce inflammation, improve blood sugar levels, and potentially lower cholesterol levels. People who are more fit are typically leaner, and these combined factors help alleviate stress on our cellular systems, thus lowering the likelihood of cancer occurrence. Ekblom Back urges men to be aware that the health benefits of exercise are not just singular, but manifold. She echoes the World Health Organization's physical activity guidelines that every move counts and that any amount of physical activity is better than none. To increase or maintain your fitness, she recommends that the intensity has to be at least moderate, which often feels somewhat hard with your breathing quickening. As Dr. Nicholas Rose, a thoracic oncologist at Mount Sinai Tisch Cancer Center, suggests higher cardiovascular intensity exercises like brisk walking, biking, jogging, and swimming are ways to train our heart and lungs to be healthier. He emphasizes that anything that gets your heart going at a faster rate, your breathing increased, and induces sweating are all signs that your body is working extra hard. Pushing oneself to that level means striving to become stronger. Finally, it's worth noting that while this study focused on men, it's highly likely these benefits would extend to women as well. As Dr. LeJabelle mentions, women who exercise are also at lower risk of cancer. This has been shown for breast cancer, colon cancer, and some of the gynecologic malignancies, suggesting that exercise's protective influence extends to both genders. For more information, please check the study link in the video description. Thank you for joining us today on this enlightening exploration of how cardio fitness could help combat common cancers. Remember, every step you take, every move you make,
counts towards better health. Keep moving, keep active, and stay tuned for our next video. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating health insights. Thank you.